Hello everyone, welcome to a modern video. Today, as I'm recording this, it's uh, it's holiday, it's uh, the day after Easter, but uh, I had the itch of playing this there for a while now, and uh, uh, yeah, I just I just wanted to do it. So this 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 deck for the prelim, and I was excited because it's not the classic uh, um, auto mill deck with Informer and Spy. Um, I mean, yes, it is, but you have Grief as protection. You also have Char Belcher as additional win con. And it has a very strange win condition. So, um, you mill your deck, pass the turn. Unless you have uh, either Tassa's Oracle in your hand and two extra mana, but that's unlikely, or Unearth, so only one mana. And then what you do is you mill your deck, pass, and then in your upkeep, you find a green land somehow, sorry, green mana somehow, either with uh, Pris Pentec Prism or with Jack O' Lantern in the graveyard. So you you, you, you top whatever, black mana, um, exile Jack O' Lantern, get green mana, shuffle back in your in your deck like, I don't know, Unearth or Tassa's Oracle and win. So uh, this is how this deck is gonna work. I hope it's cool. Uh, the percentage in the sideboard before you ask is for mill. You can't play an Eldrazi or, you know, doesn't work with your deck. So you play an Adra uh, Progenitus, they mill your deck except Progenitus, and then you untap, draw it, and then cast a Tassel's Oracle or an Earth and win. But there will likely just Surgical the Tassel's Oracle and lose anyway. <laughs> but, you know, before you ask, uh, I'm sure that on stream I'll have plenty of people asking it regardless. But yeah, Silence is for Cascade decks, uh, Leyline is for Burn, Ending is for whatever, Hateful Permanence. And we're ready to go. Uh, do do do. Oops, all spells. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So my opponent starts with Windswept Teeth Grief. Ooh, is this a scammer time? I was thinking about streaming this deck uh, too because it top eight of the challenge as well. And uh, yeah, so basically it's hammer time, but also scams. <laughs> no, actually, it's. I did not expect this. Well, you don't have to cast uh, the Thassa's Oracle. You have um, uh, Unearth as well, and you have Memory's Journey. Hello, Daniel. How do you say Happy Easter in uh, in Spanish? Actually, Buena. Oh, ephemerate. You think they didn't destroy my lands, by the way. Ab Folem, thank you for the ninth month. Feliz Pasquas. All right, same. Okay, cool, cool. Boa Pasqua. Yeah, yeah, it's the same word, basically. Yeah. All right, I put in Tuka land this time. That's good. Oh, it will grief me again. <laughs> grief Ephemerate is quite good against Oopso spells, because that will not break. And my hand, my deck is only spells. Pinto get done. <laughs> after, after the trade on stream. <laughs> buongiorno Pinto, buongiorno, buongiorno. How's it going? They have three cards. Land. Alright, alright. Well, I could cycle the Unearth. I think it's worth it, yes. I mean, I draw Black Land, I can cast this. Hello, Strep. You can uh, check my YouTube channel for all the videos. Also, Green Tron. Okay, they pass without doing much. I'll cycle. Alright, not ideal, not ideal. Black Land? Ooh, should I? Nah, I don't want to play. I don't want to play under City Informer. I'll just play Pentad Prison Pass. Hopefully, they don't have like, I don't know, Brab Decay. <laughs> they do, it's okay. Grief. Hmm. 
I think I'm just gonna go under seat informer go here. And next turn I can um I can combo in theory. And pass. Buongiorno Lupo. I go to five. Should be all good. Mm, they're playing a spell. Hope it's not a good one. What can it be that's annoying? Sure. I guess it's another. It's like I've done scam. All right, upkeep. I'll mill myself. Sacrifice. Yes. Stealing the upkeep. Exile Jack O' Lantern. Up green. Memories Journey. Myself. Target. Where's the unearth? Unearth. Okay. So I'm shuffling back one card in the deck. Draw. And then unearth the Thassa's Oracle. Now I have zero cards in the deck, so even if they have Solitude, I still win because they have no cards in the deck. And Solitude works. And, and sorry, and uh, Thassa's Oracle works regardless. So that's the combo of the deck. That was a pretty good showing, despite, I mean, my opponent, maybe didn't do too much. I, they scammed me on turn one with Ephemerate. But they didn't take the, the right pieces. This is Oracle, it's your cards in the deck. And they solitude it, yeah. Yeah. I have zero cards in the deck. So it's important that you do that. What did you pitch? Another solitude. Okay, they even have Safiric's daughter. <laughs> and that's where I believe it resolves. I have no cards in the deck. I win the game. Yeah, try about is the B plan. All right, uh, 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 uh. Hmm. well, I could, tr I could have Ley Line. So Lavinia stops three cards, but I don't think I care about that. I can just have Ley Line. Or, uh, yeah. At the end of the day, this deck is just mana and combo pieces, so I can't really take out much. Lavinia for Endurance. Uh, Leyline is also also works against Endurance. Uh, to do to do. Game number two. A uh, well, the Zen has only one land. I can't keep it. Okay, it sounds much better. Let's keep it. Um, I have to bottom a card here. In theory, Memory's Journey is awful in this deck, so I'll just bottom it. Done. I reveal Ley Line and click OK. You notice the Snowflake. Oh, this? This is the, 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 the symbol of Gods Unchained. It's a sponsor stream for the whole... Uh, wow, I just bought him one of my two Memories Journey and draw it again. Coincidence, chat? Uh, anyway, this is the, the Gods Unchained symbol. It's a sponsor of the stream for a month. It's a, it's a free-to-play game. You can download it at exclamation mark Gods Unchained. We'll play it again uh, tomorrow. Acquisition expert. So, I um, don't remember how does this work. Oh, we have ley lines, so it doesn't work. <laughs> That's funny. Draw. Let's play talisman. And pass.
Yeah, Leyline is a powerful tool uh, if you're a combo deck against a deck without blue, because usually the way they interact with you is with this curse spell, and you just stop them entirely. Okay, hey, hey, where might? Uh, this is not the worst. This isn't the worst. Not only can kill the Leyline, but also the Talisman or the Belcher. I hope they kill the Ley Lines now, and I just top deck um Oops of Spells thing. Belcher without Taiga. <laughs> stomp, stomp. <laughs> True Belcher. Ooh, there it is. What should I go for it? Let's, let's go for it. Balustra Spy. Oops. I'm gonna pick Holo less. Alright, so I'm gonna move my deck and pass the turn. And then in my upkeep, I can. Reset the deck. Back in the days, this deck used to win alone. Just like this. Alright, so I'm passing. I have zero cards in my deck. I should have targeted my opponent? No, no, no. It's not good to target your opponent. Alright, they're doing something. What is it? They're killing my ley line, sure. As long as you don't like exile my graveyard or things like that. I'm fine here. So again, I will have green mana thanks to Jack O'Lantern and Memory's Journey. The oh by the way, Memory's Journey was last in my deck for all the shuffle truthers. It was last, as you can see here. It was first and last. Maybe it got first after I put it on the bottom, who knows? That's only for the conspiracy theorist to, to decide. Planes. Oh, you have Ephemerate? Okay. So, um, I don't remember exactly how this card works. Uh, you have one, one card to reveal. Okay. Uh, do I want to reveal... Th I don't, I don't want to reveal Tusk Circle. I'll reveal Memory's Journey instead. In Task Oracle in end is a nice insurance. In case they exile my graveyard, I can just cast Tasa's Oracle. Yeah, th this type of deck in the past used to be a one card combo, even in Pioneer. For Mari comment, I draw two cards, I would lose the game. Yeah. Our opponent passes. I can double combo here, so let's do it. I'm gonna go Jack O' Lantern, get green mana, Memory's Journey, me, Shuffle back uh, one card, it's the Unearth. Okay. Draw the Unearth. I mean, of course I die to Surgical and such. No, actually I don't. I don't die to Surgical. I mean, I die to Surgical on Tassel's Oracle. Hello, which anonymous. Okay, so I draw for turn, it's the Unearth. First, I'm gonna play Tassa's Oracle. With zero cards in the deck, just in case they have Unearth. Sorry, they have Surgical. I guess this way I beat Surgical. I don't know, I don't really lose too much now. <laughs> I think it's over. Of course, I had to have the Tassa's in my hand. Oh, never mind. I do lose to Endurance. Okay. Uh, I guess, yeah, inexperience, but I don't think I could have done much different. Anyway, uh, do I want a Jack O' Lantern? Uh, no, I think it's fine, yeah. Why Oops so Spells today? 
It four rolled a prelim and it looks the, like something I very rarely play. So yeah. Okay. Uh put a card on top of your library. Alright, we're gonna go again next turn. Play every type of deck. You can find them on your YouTube channel, you write a deck, you write my name, you'll find it. A video with it. Okay, Safi Eric's daughter. I'll take three. I guess that's Oracle might die next turn. Ah, they have toxins. It's okay. The the best card of the deck is on top. And pass. They have one card. As long as they don't have an ephemerate. I can win next turn. Yeah, this is what I call the, is also a scry effect. But this deck is still a legacy. <laughs> Very good in legacy. Okay, should I should I do this main phase? Is there a problem with that? I mean, I guess I can just chump with this. I'll, I'll do it end step. I think I die to the same thing that I do in main phase, but I don't know. Yeah, I was just... Ooh. I, oh, I could have sacrificed a different creature. I didn't know that. I thought you had to sacrifice itself. All right. Wait, I guess now I can beat uh, another Endurance. I didn't know that. That's cool. There's one memory's journey left, yes. Yes. So upkeep. I'm going to once again exile Jack o Lantern for green mana. Memory's journey back, the Unearth. The Unearth or the Tassa? It might just be the Tassa. This way I beat, uh, nah, it's the same. Like if they have graveyard hate, I lose regardless. So it's probably the same. Yeah, I'll just unearth. I'll get back unearth. Yeah. Hello, whiskey fool. How's it going? Yeah, I just think they form it much better than the lose for a spy. Because you can suck the Tassa's Oracle too to beat Endurance. Anyway, I draw one card in the deck and that's uh, the Unearth. So I'll, uh, thank you, thank you, Whiskey Fool. Draw a step, you ephemerate this guy. Okay, I think I'm officially dead now. Yeah. Yeah, all right, you got me. Death by Acquisition Expert. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, I guess. I don't think I have outs now. Yeah. Alright. Let's go in three. So they have endurance. They have, they have a lot of things. So leyline is is very good. So uh, hopefully well, I'll draw it again. I'll uh, keep just two thoughtsies. I really want to have the the main plan and child barrier. Maybe it's not the greatest, but I think it's a nice B plan in case they get rid of my Thassa's Oracle. Well, this doesn't have a ley line, but I can't mulligan this end. You could have put one oracle in an earth, then I, then I lose to a removal spell. Or you're like, then you would win next turn. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, maybe I should have, um... 
Yeah, maybe I should have done uh, differently. Should have put two things in my graveyard. My thing is that I only had one task. No, I think I had two actually. Well, this is lands. This is the same as a land. It's a pain land. It's a very painful land. Okay. Well, by the way of their hand, how the hand worked, they must have... Um, They must have endurance. I am very redundant here, so. The thing is that if they ephemerated the endurance there, I could have milled myself with end with in the informer. Alright, so end step. A uh, I think I should just Should I just let him go endurance here on my combo? Nah, what if I just untap here? What if I just untap here? And go below stress bypass. Yeah, maybe that's better. I don't know. I feel like they have endurance hundred percent. Like they kept the hand without interaction. Ooh, ley line. You know what? I actually like this. Casting the ley line. Because remember, endurance, they can't endurance me if I have Ley Line. Oh, I understand Jiggle Flat. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I guess I would have lost to endurance as well last game. You're right. Anyway, that's, as you said, it's last game. Let's focus on this one. So they got Savai Trium. Now, obviously, they can go like destroy ley line and still endurance. <laughs> Montana already, I dealt myself nine damage. Ten, I dealt myself ten damage this game. That shadow deck. All right, let's see what they do. Okay. Renegade Rallier. A card I'm used to playing good old Vivian combo. R rest in peace. Vivian combo. Very long first game, by the way. First match, by the way. No way or why might. Okay, so they probably also have Anderon's green card now. So I still just on top, right? Yeah. Best draw would be, I don't know what, but let's just untap now. Mm. So what I can do here is mill myself on the earth. And they just go kill your ley line, endurance. No, 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 I don't want to upkeep it. I don't want to upkeep it. Because I want to keep it. So I think what I, what I like to do the best is Balus for Sp uh, on top land here, Balus for Spy, and then I'll try to unearth. Eh? I think that's a good plan. Play. Yes. Balus for Spy. Target myself. And then I'll unearth the Tassa's Oracle. And they'll and they'll uh, and they'll endurance and I'll pass. I'll unearth the Tassa's Oracle. And they endurance now.
All right, so first they kill my ley line. Uh, Sandor, now we talked about uh, the new set on the latest podcast, if you're interested in some uh, of that. All right, and then they go uh, Endurance, but this is in the graveyard, that means they can't ephemerate it, so. Uh, I can't do anything, I just have to accept it. And pass. The Unearthed Trigger Fizzles, it's not an Exhume, so it's not an, if I mill myself now, it works. So yeah, I, I just pass. Maybe if they punted there uh, and just unearth with the Tissus Oracle on the stock, I would have won, but it's not the case. Buongiornissimo, Stefano. Point of four cards in hand, and they pass again. All right, I think end of... Okay, I think, I think I'll block and sacrifice a creature. I think doing it main phase or end step, it doesn't matter. And I'm at seven. So I'll move myself, sacrificing the Bolostrid Spy. I have no cards in the deck. F6. Alright, so I mill myself. I have no cards in the deck, and one under seat informer in end. They have four cards in end. I don't have any more ley lines, so if they discard my former, it's gone. Hello, Club C. Welcome for the second month. My opponent says GG's. I guess they don't have an answer to my combo. In upkeep, I'll uh, memories journey back the unearth and go up for it again. Yep, GG's. Cool. Very redundant combo deck. We even had uh, several ley lines. We even arcast the ley line with the hierarchy talisman. So, yeah, very good. GG's, yeah. Yeah, good game. Thank you for a good luck. Oublio. Bonjour. How's it going? Allora. Thank you, thank you for the 29 months. That's so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Mulligan does end. Rest in peace is not a very common card. But yeah, there is a prismatic ending for that. Also Teferi. Alright, keep. That's bottom of this. I don't have any wink on except this Chow Badger, which isn't a great wink on. Yeah, we'll definitely talk about uh, the standard regionals of the American American regionals in the podcast tomorrow. We usually record on Tuesday. Yeah, it's a very this uh, actually pretty pretty cool uh pretty cool and new and new decks in the top eight. Or giants is from Mill. Alright, so Jetmere Garden should mean creativity. I'll play Panther Prism and pass. You can even scam with this deck, haven't noticed. You have Malachi Rebirth Grief. Mm 
All right, they have ley line. They don't have ley line. The new Omnath? Yeah, the new Omnath seems like a lot of text. I haven't fully read it. One day, one day if I see it in a modern deck list, I will, um, I will give it a read. Way too many commander cards printed to read them all, you know what I mean? If some cards break through modern, then, then I will read it. Okay, so I'll go uh, Talisman of Dominance, Emeria Call, your spell peers? Emeria Call, yes. And Pented Prism again. Taking a million damage, but I think it's worth it. Buongiorno Bastida. Alright, they counter the peers. With the treasure too, wow. They don't have creativity, it looks like. The team's awakening. I'll play Talisman. That's my fifth mana. I'll play this stopped. That's my sixth mana. Next turn, I can go the team's awakening, Charbelger. A hole in one turn, so that I don't lose to Leland Binding or Prismatic Ending. First, if they go creativity for two, it's over. Because this deck doesn't win in one shot. All right, looks like they're passing. I'm going for it. They don't have creativity in end. Draw. Let's play Belcher. Two mana up for uh, Spell Pierce. Child Belcher active, I'll uh, wait their upkeep and then Belcher them. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Oh, what can go wrong? I'll Belcher you. Boom. The ball. The Belcher ball. Any order, thank you. That's a one card combo, not creativity. No, never mind. Also, creativity was a one card combo. All right, we won with with the Belcher. Okay. Uh, I don't think in this matchup I'm supposed to cite anything. You can cite Leyline for Archons. It's not the worst. Is it better than? No, I don't think it's better than Thoughtseize. Hello, Spice Lord. Good morning. Good night. Where, wherever you are. So again, Leyline stops you, saves you from um, Archons, but I think that my deck cannot afford it. Hello, Yankuri. Okay, uh, every every time you open a hand with this deck, you have to figure out what exactly you have. In this case, I have a three land, three combo piece, one protection hand. It's a slow hand, but it works out, I hope. Okay, uh, I'll keep the Agadim's Awakening. Because I have black mana here, in theory. I mean, of course, I'm not going to pitch this if I don't have black mana, but... Uh. He did not have random six. Draw. Mm. Ooh, I can scam. I can scam here. 
Should I scan here? Let me cast the Tizemon of Hierarchy first. And then let's see what to do. Do I want to scam here? I think it might be a good idea. I scam pitching Balustrous by. And then I'll uh, see what happens. With the talisman of hierarchy. All right, so Vogue Trigger last. First, I'll see your hand. Okay. I'll take Fable. And then before the uh, Evoke Trigger, I will uh, Malakir Rebirth. And I'll take Creativity. Yeah, the deck does it all. It even... Uh, it even scams people. I'll leave you with an Archon of Cruelty in your hand and three lands. Game 1 Belcher, Game 2 Scam and Belcher. <laughs> Ray, draw for turn, attack, do I want to just go Belcher or do you think it's too risky? I can't just go under seat informer go. What's the, what's the way they can interact with me? Hollywood Moonlight would be annoying, but I guess at Thoughtseize. Yeah, I think I'll play under City Informer here. And pass. Point Belcher is bad against uh, Spell Pierce, Leyland Binding, Prismari Command, and much more. Like just naked Belcher. Granted, I knew my opponent in hand was nothing, but you know, they have two cards, mystery they have two mystery cards. Okay. Let's see what they do now. They have two mystery cards. And uh Okay, they're doing something. What is it? Fable, sure. All right, end of turn. I'll mill myself, sacrificing grief. Upkeep. I'll pay white. Actually, I'll pay colorless. Now I'll pay white, and I'll uh, jack o' lantern first. Get a green mana, and then a memory's journey. Me, and I'll put on top a unearth. Draw the Unearth, play Unearth, target Tassa's Oracle. Zero cards in the deck. Easy game! Uh, Alright. Strong performance so far. Very, very clean win this game. Scam and turn four kill. Very strong. Ugh. Okay. Take a bathroom break and come back for round number three. Let's go. Malagrinja. Hmm, this player usually plays Living End. 
leaving again cannot be a good matchup. What did I eat for Easter? I posted it all on my Twitter account. I use Twitter very much for the Menguchi cuisine. Yeah, sauce camera time. Our opponent is not on leaving again. Round number three. What does my hand do? Well, it has lands. It doesn't have spells, but it has lands. That's something. Raw. Okay, now it has spells as well. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Let's just play this and pass them. You don't like that I call this deck Oops of Spells? How do you want me to call it? Yeah, we did a we did a, an unboxing of HelloFresh the other day. Hmm. Yes. Let's play Panther Prison, and now even if they have a Blood Moon, I'm covered with black mana. That that used to be the way I was beating. Well, nauseam, I was beating Blood Moon too. Hello, Squadum. Let's see what they do. Possess you on my prism. Do I want to cycle? So, Unearth lets me combo uh, in the same turn on 5 mana. But I don't think in this matchup I have 5 mana, do I? Like, like, I'm just gonna go Teferi plus, and this turn after I'm gonna go under City Former go. So I think I'm gonna cycle. And Buzeju is very good against me, because I don't have basics, of course. Yeah, Gabriel was a friend of mine. I I lent him the cards to play to play the tournament. I definitely take some pride in that win. And let's go a Miria call, yes, and then Teferino plus. I think there's a lot of um, different builds of Merc died, but overall, I think that the main deck Blood Moon is uh, is the superior one. I saw that in that top eight, there's four Merc Tides, two of them with main deck Blood Moon, two without. To continue the, you know, honestly, I enjoy. I enjoy the fact that not every list is the same. Okay, Fable. The fairy is also protection from Blood Moon too. Our draw. I'll uh, take up the fairy again. I want to bounce. Uh, so if I bounce goblin, my opponent is able to. Um, my opponent is able to seal of fire my fairy, and then they have the fairy active for in endurance. So I think the best way here is plus this. Play Agadim's Awakening and tapped. Yes. And then I think it's better to play Balustra Spy. Nah, probably it's just Undercity Informer. Yeah, I much prefer Undercity Informer if I can. If I can choose. I can even block this. Then surely if they have Endurance, they get me because I'm gonna... Maybe I don't block? Hmm, maybe I don't block. Andreas, thank you for the second month. Welcome. What do I do with Fable? So yeah, I think Endurance is the main uh, is the main thing I'm caring about. 
Yeah, they had Bloodman, but they had both uh, printed Prism and then Teferi. So I always had protection to Bloodman in this in this game. Well, this is not exactly Magic. This is Magic Online. So if you come back to Magic, it's uh, it's it's different. All right. So they try to bolt my thing. I will uh, mill my deck. I will mill my deck. And uh, yeah, pass. Or rather, you you do your things. I hope uh, I hope it's not like I don't know attack fury endurance. That could happen. You decide to restart in popper. Yeah, plenty of popper uh, YouTube video that you can find. You know, of course, uh, Twitch chatting is better because you can ask question and respond live. But uh, if you enjoy watching some content of popper so much content of popper that i released in the past months yes i need green but there's jekyll lantern that fixes your your mana when it conceded so jekyll lantern this pumpkin here fixes your colorless you can exile it and you add one amount of any color so that's how the combo works No, I would have blocked for sure the the token. Why wouldn't I block? I I, I played this to block the, the, the token. Uh, anyway, I play against a deck that will for sure have Ender. And so once again, I'll have Leyline for uh, Tosses and the Fairies. I think so. I think this is the best sideboard. I don't like ending for Bloodman. It doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, yeah, fine end. I mean, I don't, I don't have win conditions, but I have ley line. Is it better MTG or an arena? Well, arena is free to play. So you can start with spending zero money. And if you don't care about being competitive, you can play for free. Whereas a magical line, you'll always have to pay money. And if you're not very competitive, you're going to lose money. So, you know, it depends a lot on your level. Of course, the downside of playing uh, Layden of Sanctity is that you draw Layden of Sanctity later in the game. Buongiorno, Lorenzo. Would Teferi also help uh, uh, prevent Endurance? Well, the problem of the Teferi is that they attack it. Uh, solitude doesn't matter. You don't fear Solitude with this deck. It does nothing. Ooh, Nitro's Claim, I, uh... Draw. Okay. I feel like passing the turn. I don't know, Jawari Disruption will be very good here. Like, my opponent plays an Obosh deck, so they have three drops. And they will cast a three drop next turn for sure. I feel like casting Toxies here is wrong because my opponent might have like double blood moon and then I lose. No! They punished me so hard! Why didn't you position your turn? Crazy, they time walked me this way. Because I could have gone land talisman Toxies. Wow, I never saw this coming. Alright, I, I guess I lose. I guess I lose. Oh, they got me very good, by the way. Very good. I didn't. I never expected the position to come in there. Hopefully, I can still win the game. Oh, they left mana up for Nitro's claim. That's why. Okay, makes sense. Well, that's what Time Walk does. It sets your turn back. <laughs> What's that? No, oh, I got... So they're playing the combo deck with Quests of Pure Flame and... Um, and the other card. And the Obi-Wan, Pure Actual Obi-Wan. That's a two-card combo. One drop and five drop. 
I've never played it, never seen any opponent do it. I just saw a Sparring Spike uh, screenshots. I wonder if that combo dies to Leyline though. Probably does. But, but, but uh, let's just let's just do things like I don't mind. I'm playing as one million mana. I'll just play Panther Prison Top Land. I guess I'm setting up for yeah. I think I'll play this land. Yeah. And pass. I don't want to use all my Panther Prison mana to play Leyline. Uh, the Sota, I think I, po I posted my free cyber guide for Merktide alongside with uh, infinite deck, uh, infinite video, so hopefully all my questions are responded there. How does my opponent combo work? It's really easy, I think it's just two cards combined. You just can't play, put two cards into play and it's over. As far as I know. Well, I'm on 11. I hope I don't die next turn, but you know. It would be nice if I drew a goblin. Actually, I can't play goblin char belcher. Hmm. Oh, those for a spy. Okay. Uh. Bah, I think I just do that. I just do that, and do I play a Jawari tapped? I don't think it matters much. So I just play Balustra Spy and pass. Keeping up the Jawari, because you never know. So I put in as one card in as an Arbor Elf. And I have six, go. Maybe there's a world where Jawari stops my opponent from winning. Unlikely, but there might be that said world. I had some Narc Amoebas, I could have blocked with them. But no Narc Amoebas in my deck. Just some combo pieces. What's Gods Unchained? It's a free-to-play game. That I have sponsored for the whole uh, month. Exclamation mark Gods Unchained. Okay, you discard Abra Forest. Now I have two cards. Dead to most things, like Endurance, for example. You took a Sprawl, that doesn't kill me. One card left. Is it a combat? I'm blocking. This is both for spy does nothing. Mm-hmm. Block. Take two down to nine. Alright, this card got a counter. I still don't know what it does. I'm assuming it does nothing, but maybe I'm wrong. You remove four quest counter. If any source... No, they drew the endurance. Uh, so, you shuffle my deck. Do I want to do... Can I do something? Does this card draw a card? Yeah. Okay, so let's go Jekyll Lantern. Oh! Sorry, it draws commands in play, of course. I don't know why. Uh, I thought it's not that way. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. That's unfortunate. But... Yeah, I could have played Leyline first. That's true. I was afraid of dying. Like, if they had a Fury here, I would have died, for example, if I didn't have a blocker. And Endurance. Ooh, you're right. Could have played Memory's Journey. And put a card back into my deck. This doesn't shuffle the deck. They shuffle at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Yeah, I think I, I would have got there. If I just go journey, I can draw like another... <sighs> yeah, now it's over. They even have reflection. I guess I guess it was over regardless. Because they, they had reflection plus endurance. Maybe if I played Juari and then Memories Journey to Beltro could have won. 
But I need to play a top lane first. Anyway, uh, game three on the play. So stand by my ley lines. Yeah, I should have played top lane earlier, and then this turn, in case they top deck endurance, I could have shuffled back one Belcher and drew it. Because I think that's how it works, right? This says shuffles three cards in the deck. My deck is empty. So Belcher goes on top of the deck, which is a one card deck, and then Endurance puts every other card under it. So over the drum Belcher. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 was the way to play. Of course, first league. Never too easy to play new decks at the first try. Eh, eh, eh. Well, this hand uh, doesn't ramp, doesn't do much. Doesn't beat Blood Moon. But whatever, let's keep it. I have no, many, very many combo pieces. Almost three lands. Mm hmm. Draw. Okay, that's a good draw. I'm hoping my opponent doesn't have a, a Buzeju. Two mana stone rain. Three mana for a fable, okay. Draw for turn. That's not a good draw. Plan the City Informer and pass. Of course, if they have a removal spell, uh, they kill my card for no value, but you know, I have, I have a, I have, my hand is very redundant right now. <sighs> so I discard Fable and Seal of Fire. Hmm. At least I can't cast Fury for five, which will put a big pressure on me. All right, just simply have Bolt. Entment or land. And they picked up Wooded Foothills, okay. Okay, they have three cards in hand, and one is a Wooded Foothills. And draw per turn. Another Belcher. Alright, let's play another of these and pass. Any. Three cards. Is that Fury? It is. Hey, I think now it's over. Because they attack me down to 10. Any land would put me down to 7. Play Balus for Spy and then probably die regardless. Yep, alright, GG. Needed a land to win this game. With a land there, I could have played. Uh, yeah. Or just needed them to another removal spell, which obviously was unlikely. But yeah, just needed a land in general. I mean, that's up to me. I kept the two land end. Didn't get there. You have a referral code for Gods Unchained. Yes, again, if you go to exclamation mark Gods Unchained, you should open a link to download the game. And there's my name. Andra Mengucci, it's a referral code. Oh, yeah, it's... I guess it's not auto included with the exclamation mark. But yeah, it's Andre Mengucci is the referral code. That was a loose keep. I mean, I do loose keep all the time. That's okay. 
It's part of the mango experience. It's a part of the mango viewing experience. I'll lose matches because I keep bad ends. Totally fine with that. Always been the case. Not I'm not gonna change at 30 years at almost 30 years old. Round number four. You have six cards. Is that Yogmoth? This should be a good matchup. Proud member of the anti Mulligan Club. That's another matchup for my for my Alright, let's go Agadim's Awakening and the uh, Thoughtseize. Let's see what's your hand. Whenever a path is coming out your player, blah, blah, blah. I'll just take Court of Calling. Court of Calling for Endurance is a way I can lose the game. Don't do that. And you attack me. I'm at 12 already. <laughs> On turn 2. Draw. I'll go to 9. I'll play a Panther Prism. And pass. I go to six. Well, I hope they don't draw much because otherwise they might just kill this thing and attack me for lethal. We'll see. Hello, Noble. Welcome, welcome. Take three down to six. Uh, today there's a family a family lunch and then we just probably walk around the city. Okay, so let's play Informer and pass. And now next turn I can safely win the game. Hopefully again my opponent doesn't have a, an endurance or a court of calling. There are tradition eating eggs on Easter. Yes. Usually for children, but you know, everyone loves them. Grist. Okay. Ooh, I'm dead. Wow. I die. I wish there was a Narcomoeba in the deck. I don't know. I mean, they just attacked me. Uh, it's over. Right? That sucks. I died. Huh. Just, just go to aggroed. Turn four. I guess I, I took a lot of damage by myself. Maybe I don't play the thoughts, but if I don't play the thoughts, I die to endurance as well. Yeah, I just died. Simple as that. Maybe I thought he's the way the Apatra. No, it's the same amount of damage. No reason to show them the deck. Yeah, no Narc Amoebas in the deck. Feels awkward. But yeah, that's what I got. A line again for the classic thought sees. I guess I'll uh, I'll keep the fear. Uh, no, no, thought is, is good. Plus, it's a blue card for uh, it's a black card for grief. If I want to scam, um, yeah, the eggs. Boiled eggs usually like for example, my mom is a school teacher. She at school. Um, they painted the boiled eggs for children. So maybe you have that kind of tradition. 
But eating the boiled eggs, I don't know, not not much, no. Cripping chill. I would say Narcomiba is better than Cripping Chill. But I, I don't know, again, I think this is a pretty un, uh, how do you say, un, uh, unlikely scenario. This end does nothing, but that has never stopped me before. At least I've ley line. I want to start with Malika Rebirth, or do I believe in this game? Kind of believe in this game right now. Yeah, plus I want to play Jack. Yeah, I think I want to play Jack. I'll go turn one Jack, turn two Horror Cycle, and then turn three, I could scam. <laughs> Bring back Dread Return? I believe Dread Return was never in modern, like at any point of its life. Ooh, that's a good draw, Mangu. Regret to not have played this tap on turn one now. Anyway, let's play this talisman and I will uh, cycle the jack. What does Jekyll Lantern even mean? Is that the name of uh, the pumpkin is Jack? How did I translate it in Italian? I have no idea. Grist, okay. Exile, draw a card. Well, sure. Okay. I have a five mana win the game. Uh, let's see what I draw first. Mm, another tap play, that's annoying. Yeah, very much regret not having played uh, turn one Maliki Rebirth. I studied Zuka, okay. Okay, I know, I, I understand now. It's just the name of the pumpkin head in English. I win the game with a land. Because I go bonus for Spy on Earth on Tassa. If I don't draw land, I won't cast Balloons for Spy because then they can uh, um, endurance. Going to three cards in end. I don't think I want to cycle. Makes no sense. I'll go to thirteen. Yeah, if I don't draw land, I'll cast Belcher. Yeah, I don't. Want, if I cast Belcher, I think it's too bad against Endurance. The whole. The, of course, it might. It might uh, not have an answer to Ley Line. But... Hello, Vinny. Oh, good. This deck looks 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 good so far. You're all on top land. Not quite. Not quite. Yeah, I think I'd like to go Belcher, though. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have a blocker. Do I die next turn? You're leaving to watch the Chess World Championship? You're leaving Mango Stream for that? Sorry. You're out. You're out of here. My invisible doors are closed for you now. Let's play Belcher Go. I don't know, maybe they have like some way to exile my Tassa's Oracle. And I just, sorry, all my Jack and I just get decked. What are your answers to Belcher? That weren't your answers for Leyline. I mean, I think it's that now you have to have two answers, right? Kiori, some people asked uh, to put a, a command uh, in the chat. 
that I wrote about that that they wrote above. If you have if you have time to set up that comment, would be nice. Is that? Oh, they have the tutu that um, sacrifices for disenchant. Auckland Liberator. Oh, stronger Geist. Oh, that's not a good news. Am I dead? Probably. I guess I have this, so the the blood artist doesn't kill me. Maybe they have a Zulaporth Cutthroat. That kills me. So you have two cards in, and if you have Yogmoth, you draw a lot of cards. They didn't. They didn't combo. They just attacked with the Springer Geist. Messenger is target as well. Yeah. What? What do they? Ha I think it's just Zula Porcathrote. Maybe what they're doing here is they're finding answers to Belcher. He's drawing a lot of cards to find answers to Belcher. Greased ultimate. Yeah, but I already ticked up Greased. What happened with Veil Summer and why is it here? Oh, that, that oh, yes, I milled it with uh, Grease. Do I like eggplant? Yeah, pasta norma. Yeah, yeah, my, my, my father does that a lot. Mozzarella and eggplant, Bosagio and endurance. Uh, it does nothing. I have Belcher. Does Dill Summer You and Promise to control yes Is there a way that they don't win? No, right? I must I think it's over. I don't think there's a way to stop this. Alright, there isn't. They just wanted to see my deck. Which is very fair. Like, that's something you should do for sure. Right? Yeah, the good time in Prague. E e e e vamos. Hello, Federic. I get it that now they're only printing Commander because that's the thing that sells them the most, but I think that. Pushing standard makes sense in their in their mind. In Barcelona is modern. Yeah, in July it'll be modern. Alright. Hmm. This end is really bad, but I'm gonna keep it since uh I have the I think the ley line is so good in this matchup. Not only not only stops the endurance, it also stops the combo. I'm the only person you watch. That's good. Yeah, just go on YouTube, write uh, Team Orion's Mango and Creativity Mango, and you'll find a lot of videos. And also, if you have CFB Pro, there's also the Cyber Guide and so on. So, the Stern as form is fun. I don't know, whatever. Stern is always okay, right? I mean, this is that we don't we don't play too much, so it always feels like. Uh, but the bad part of standard is that you buy cards and then they're worth nothing after a year. Like that's, like it does. It, the game plan might be fun and everything, but just wasting money on cards sucks. That's what standard says basically. Back in the days, on top of rotation, they also banned like a card every month. So, you know. But other than that, yeah, the game plan is okay. All right, I put it with a very, very aggressive start. Let's see if I can draw land on top land from Mango now, please. Thank you. Prism. I want to have seven mana in one turn for the Belcher. I don't want to play Belcher and pass next turn. Auto formats become like that? I don't think so, right? I mean, in modern, sure, modern Horizons 2 rotated out a lot of decks and cards, but the decks are basically the same for, 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 for a very long time now in modern. 
Any Pioneer? I mean, there's like 20 decks viable, so... In both Modern and Pioneer. I think it was great because you, know, you don't have to worry about collection. Yeah, I know, I know. I know, but I... I don't really acknowledge Magic as Magic Online or Magic Arena. I acknowledge Magic as Paper Magic. I mean, that's for me, it's Magic. The fact that I'm streaming of Magic Online is because I don't have any other way to make content. Actually, I will go on Friday in Berlin to make uh, real, uh, real Magic content. Which is the, the type of content I enjoy the most. <laughs> Alright, uh, the Go Yogmoth Pass draw. Bolus for a spy, that's not a bad draw. Um... Mm. Okay. I want to do much. I'm just, I'm just gonna go talisman, praise, and go. Next turn, I can go bolus for a spy, tassels, or on the same turn. Do I do that? I go hierarchy, prison. And then they possess you my prism. How much mana do I have? Do a three, quattro, cinque. When I have a top deck of land, I can win. I think I'm gonna go hierarchy, prison, go. I'll take one damage, but I don't think it matters. I hope it doesn't. Yeah, so now I pass. Next turn, I try to win in the same turn, either with Belcher or Spite Oracle. Remember, I have, I have Ley Line, so I don't die to bl uh, b b b Blood Artist, I don't die to End Lens. Bosejo is very good, though. You attacked me for five. It's funny how I lost game one on turn four just by aggro creature, and then game two and three they had always their Yogmoth combo, but I don't know. I mean, of course, the game is long, but. Maybe the best line was just Balustra Spy. Like, if I have Ley Line in play, there's nothing bad that can go. Okay, so they have their quote unquote combo. So they can draw a lot of their deck here. But again, Blood Artist doesn't kill me because I have Ley Lines. There's three cards. I'm going to miss one damage. I maybe don't want to top this card for mana. I don't know. We don't know their hand, so better not say too much. Okay, so they have their engine to draw cards. I'll, I'll let them go. And then again, if you play Zulop or Catharoth over Blood Artists, they would have won the game this spot. I'm, I'm sure there's a reason why people play Blood Artist instead of Zulaport. Maybe Zulaport only triggers on your creature, whereas Blood Artist will or also triggers on their creature. Thoughts is me, they can't necromancia me. They brought in Force of Vigor. Right, yeah, that's true. Force of Vigor. Force of Vigor would kill me here, yes. In my turn, yes, it would kill me. So they would need to play Blood Artist and then pass with Force of Vigor up. Echo Qua, Blood Artist. Target player loses one life. So yeah, now, wait, you have to target yourself. I guess it doesn't change. Yeah. 
Yeah, am I dead? Yes, I'm dead to Force of Vigor. If I play Baluster Spy, I would have also died to, to the same thing, so. Collector Oof? Yeah, Collector Oof uh, would be bad. Yes. I hope they don't play it, no. I don't think there's a reason to in modern. Unlike Legacy. Alright, it passed. I draw for turn. Ooh. Well, let's go. Bonus for Spy. Is it better to go Balustra Spy Belcher or is it better, uh, sorry, Tassa's Oracle? Yeah, right? Yeah. Or is it better to go Belcher? Maybe Belcher is better. Belcher is probably better. Right? Veil of Summer doesn't work. Oh, I always six mana. All right, so I have to go. <laughs> I have to go Baluster Spy Tassel's Oracle then. I think I didn't go for Belcher. Uh, Tassel's Oracle. Uh... If you have a Devotion um, 0 and you have 0 cards in the deck, you win the game. If 0 cards in the deck and I play the one and only Oracle of Thassa. So what happened here is that uh, round number 3 I lost because I kept a bad end. That had potential. In this game, I won because I kept a bad hand that had potential. I kept a hand with two ley line, only one land, drew the land right away, won the game. Didn't draw land, I would have lost the game. But there was ley line, which is so strong in this matchup that I think it's that I think it's um, it's important. Again, it's so strong in this matchup with my deck. Normally, it's not so strong, but. My deck cares a lot about both endurance and also the combo kill because I'm I'm a we're both a combo deck. So going one turn faster. And my opponent would have killed me one turn faster, but I had Leyline to protect. So you see the importance of this card in this matchup. This doesn't mean that you should add Leyline to your, I don't know, creativity deck and bring it in against the Yogamod. No, I'm not saying that. I'm only saying that for this particular matchup. It's not finished yet. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not finished yet. I mean, if they find Force of Vigor, they win regardless. They don't need Endurance after Force of Vigor. If they find Force of Vigor and they kill my Ley Lines, I... I lose to the Blood Artist combo. So, yeah, I mean, if they have it, they have it. I have no control over that. Also, I think two Ley Line is better because it means that they can't... They couldn't just find... Uh, the um the th the two mana two two what's it called the um, outlaw liberator three let's see what it is is it endurance wall of roots okay they don't give up I wonder why they don't give up oh I guess still force of vigor. Russell! Tu, 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 tu. Thank you, Russell. Welcome to the stream. All right, opponent uh, back with. Uh... <laughs> Ton of mana again. Ooh, they found the Force of Vigor. And now I'm dead. By Blood Artist and uh, the Geist. 
All right. It was a long time, but I think... I think I finally perished here. That's okay. I think it's it's fine. Okay, my opponent uh, successfully defeated me with their Blood Artist Yogamoth and two uh, Perseus creature combo. And we advanced to round number five with a 2 2 score. Close matches so far. All right, meet on an opponent. Let's go. Idol Yen. Idol, Idol Yen. All the blue mana. Hmm, weird end. Hmm, I think I'll mulligan this end. It doesn't seem like a good end. Or right, this is better. I'll uh, bottom uh, grief. Yeah, let's go. Please no turn one Ragavan. I haven't faced a Ragavan yet. And I don't face it again in that Atrium there. Ooh, I can scam them next turn. That's cool. I think I will scam them. No QRE. I think the the outcome wasn't that one, but that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so they can go like Steam Vents 5-5 five, five, turn 2. I don't know why, but I feel like they're playing Zoo. What could that be? Pycolorizers? What deck doesn't play Gigantine as in the Tetrium? Blue Eye Control? Yeah, I want that one. Oh yeah, Simvance is there. I told you it was a Kabul. I don't know why, but I, I felt like that. Anyway, um, so let's go Grave Thoughtsies. Do I want to do that? Do I want to scam them though? Because if I scam them, I don't have a land next turn. I guess I Jekyll Lantern. Nah, but well, let's, let's scam them. I think scam... Ah, maybe not. How good is scamming them? Taking the two best cards of their hand, making a 3-2. Yeah, it's okay. I'll take it. Yeah, it's probably fine. Fire Ice, General Furs, Rook Rick. Alright, I don't think I care about Fire Ice. So I just take Kavu... And then I'll uh, scam, and then I'll take the roll crick, and then I'll play land on top. No, nah. no, nah, I don't think so. I just cycle next turn to Jekyll Lantern. I want. I wanted to pitch the scam. I wanted to have double of this in case, like next turn I draw land, I just play one. Souls Myth, thank you for the Prime sub. Like, I just wanted to play this like this way because this way, if I draw an top lane next turn, I can cast on the City Informer. And if they top deck Bolt, I can still have another one following up. If they don't top deck Bolt, I win the game. But I don't know if this was correct. Maybe I should have just gone top lane the uh, Thought Seize. Unclear. Ooh, they drew another of this. But that's fine, right? Because Fire Ice is not a multicolor card. <sighs> I just want to just I just want to cycle this, right? Yeah, I need to draw land now. I need to draw land now. That's too bad. Now they're gonna fire ice the grief, attack me for eight, and then next turn. Yeah, I'm dead next turn. I don't even have land, so I can't I can't uh, keep up a fight. Maybe it was just top lane go the, the play. Anyway, uh game three. Sorry, game two. Yeah, I think there's nothing that I want in the sideboard.
There is Ease Multicolor, yes, but doesn't make token for uh, the... Opponent with the special 62. I have lands and spells. Not a great hand, but I'll take it. So go Agra Mauling, top land, go. Ooh, little of the void. That's okay. We have two ways to dodge it. So no biggies. Both Teferi and Belcher make the ley line be bad. The way I lost the, the game too is just the item tier 4 by attacks. Ooh, crushing footfalls. <laughs> that was unexpected. Alright, let's go. Miria call. Yes. Talisman of Hierarchy. Go. I don't have blue mana for Teferi, but next turn I just play Belcher and hope to on top with it. I think that'll be my plan. Range raw, you get five rice. You don't. That's why Belcher. No, no chance in waiting seven mana. If you have a decent chance, the Belcher dies. Oh, you almost have Peter. Hey, the shock and tapped into Lee Line binding my Belcher. That's very good. That is very good. Yeah, yeah. I know. Penta Prism would make me dodge Ley Line. It's like a double blue to Arcastasa. Although my 14 in opponent might just go Shardless into Territory Cabo here. <sighs> or Charles into crushing footfalls also pretty bad. I hope they cascade into Kabu though. Yeah, they cascade the Kabu. That's still uh, six damage. Only one for four, not two, like a normal deck. Draw. Blue land. Prism. Second does is Oracle. That's not good. Psycho, blue land. Unfortunately, you can't cast a fairy, so just gotta pass. Next turn, draw. If I draw blue land, I win because I got a fairy bounce binding, activate Belcher. My dad two tribal flames, two tribal flames. Okay, they play more shardless for footfalls. All right, last time, to, last chance to top deck or the league is over. Seagate restoration. That's about it. I think I'm, I'm mono out right now. It's just Seagate restoration. It's not exciting, but this is my. Top deck, boom, Seeker Restoration. Thought sees. Alright, GG. You win opponent. And the league is over. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed these Belcher action. If you watch this on YouTube, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Have a good day, everybody.